The Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Foreign Trade and Immigration awarded approximately $20,000 through its MSME, Women Economic Empowerment Initiative, dubbed the Women Who Boss competition. Five entrepreneurs were chosen from across the country to receive much needed funding for their budding and impactful projects. The competition's objective was to assist female entrepreneurs who have, re who have received capacity building opportunities through the project with modest funds to help them advance their business. So to the strong, ambitious, and persevering female entrepreneurs sitting before us today, I take time to congratulate you. We know that this is not an easy road you trod, but you took the opportunities before you, and now your hard work, work is paying off. We are very happy to be part of this small but important initiative that spotlights the government's interest in the economic empowerment of our talented and hardworking female entrepreneurs. The project of women empowerment in Belize speaks to institutional capacity building, vocational skills training, women entrepreneur advice training, an international initiative forum, and MSME's COVID-19 resilience. The initiative is being done in partnership with the Republic of China, Taiwan. Yet another successful project that Taiwan and Belize team up to help enhance the women's skills and provide consultation and the resources for them to start a business or take their business to the next level. Today, while we get together to congratulate the war winner, winners, I'd also like to take this opportunity to pay tribute to all the participants partaking in this competition. Winning or not, they are all extraordinary women who inspire us with courage, persistence, and determination. And I believe this will surely bring them a step closer to achieving their entrepreneurial ambitions and economic independence. Meet the five RDs who engage in projects that span financial training, cuisine, clothing, and the preservation of cultural languages. Baroda Secret will be investing this money in our advancement for our business. We are so honored to be one of the recipients, and we have already booked our summer line. So the Garifuna attire, attire, we will be getting our four designers to women designers. women designers, indigenous Garifuna and non-Garifuna. We have uh, included them as well. And we will be using the funds to get fabric from our local, um, local stores here in Belize. Chokes the Light is currently producing an eco-friendly community consists of organic compost, liquid fertilizer, healthy meals, and soon to come, garden tours with dry fruits, vegetables, and herbs. It is planned to invest this award to acquire and purchase comfortable sitting area. Presently, this will attract more customers. Everyone who allowed us the open doors for us to pitch out our business out there and, out, and also allow us to have an investment, and this would be one of our first investments, to let this expansion of this delicious hot sauce. This grant will set me a step closer to my business goals, especially during times when women have made significant changes in the business world, and as we continue to be key players in the development of our country. Also, as we strive, to advance in gender gaps for equal opportunities. Between Moody for News 5.